today's video is going to be a current favorites video. So these are items that I enjoy using and things that I have been using more frequently since I've had them and have improved my life. Um, I have some self-care items. I have a book. I have some home decor and clothing. I have a little bit of everything. These are things that I would recommend to my family, my friends, and obviously any of you guys watching this video out there. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first item I'm currently using it is this mug with my name on it. My mom and I were shopping at Home Goods, and it was the first thing I saw when I walked in the door. It's literally calling my name. I need to get it. It's by Ray Dunn. Um, I just think it's so cute, and I love drinking my coffee in it. Just. It's just adorable. It's totally me. While we're on the line of coffee, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I have been loving the La Colombe coffee in a can. I wish that we had one of these actual like storefronts where I live, but we don't. I like the vanilla, I like the mocha, and I like just the double shot. I can't do the triple shot because it makes me too jittery. But the vanilla is really good if you want like sweet. I also have the double shot in my fridge right now. For my birthday, Cameron actually got me the five minute journal. I love writing in this, so much fun. I don't write in it every day. I know it's probably ideal to, but some mornings I'm just really rushed and don't have much time to like stop and like do this. I know that's an excuse and I probably shouldn't be doing that, but I love this so much. So you write um, a few things in the morning and a few things at night just to be more like mindful and grateful for things. And I just think it's really cute. In the mornings that I do use this, I find that I have a more mindful, like better day. And then at night, like I feel more content about how my day went. It's especially really good because I'm not very good at like sitting down and journaling in an empty journal. I'm not sure what to write about or even like where to start and this, has it all prompted out for you, which is really great because I just never knew where to start and this does it for you. Two Christmases ago, Cameron, my boyfriend, got me the whole Harry Potter series, um, the books, not the movies, and I've slowly been reading through them. I am currently on Goblet of Fire, which is the fourth book. Literally only have that much left. Goodreads, it said that I had 70% completed. So, also, if you have a Goodreads, go ahead and add me. I'm trying to be more active on there to like hold me accountable to reading and stuff. So let's be friends on there. So far, this has been my favorite book in the series, but I do still have three books to go. So we'll see where it goes. Um, but I love this. It's so good. I highly recommend it. It does look very daunting because it's so big. However, I kind of like flew through this. The pages, I don't know why. The pages just didn't seem to last that long. 100% recommend if you haven't read the Harry Potter series and you like Harry Potter, or even if you just want to open your mind to new things, give it a try, really good. Next up, I'm going to go more into my personal care items. So this is a hairspray I have been loving. It is by this brand, I don't know how to say, I'm not even gonna try. It's just called Rainforest Mist Flawless Finish Hairspray. This, I haven't been to a rainforest, but if I had, I think this is what it would smell like. It smells so good, just so fresh. And so many hairsprays have left my hair like really crunchy and like stiff, but this, if you can see, I used it. Like everything can still move, like I could, brush through it really easily. Next up is the Gisu Honey Infused Hair Oil. I saw this all over TikTok and I thought it was worth a try because I'm trying to have healthy hair. This holds up to its standards. People were like raving about it and now I completely understand. Is this like if I'm having like a no heat day, which I have usually been doing. I only did my hair today because I'm filming. So I'll use this and it keeps it very like low frizz and just looks really soft and silky as if you had done it. And then I'll also use it the night before I wash my hair to use as like an overnight mask. I'll put it in my hair and then roll my hair up in a bun um, just so my hair can like fully like soak it all in. I just got the like sample size. So this was $25 at Sephora. They have it on Amazon, but it's really price gouged. So I wouldn't recommend that. Sephora is definitely the way to go. I think you can order online. It is sold out at stores a lot everywhere just because it's so popular right now. Next, I actually just got these about a week ago. I got these two claw clips. I've been loving claw clips, but I only had like the basic, like the glossy black ones. I wanted the kind that like curved to your head because the ones I have are like square. 
and it just didn't really fit on me well so i love these they curve so they like fit to your head and they're really good the ones that i had before weren't good for half up half down but these ones really are i honestly love this one so much this one's cute too but this one's like my vibe i love it so cute these were on amazon it was only eight something for the pack of two so i'll leave the link for these down below for you guys as well i have struggled with dry skin my whole life pretty much and in the winter my face gets really really bad so i've been using this flight mode skincare the brand is flight mode is called high altitude hydration mask and i just wear this overnight and my skin is not nearly as dry as it has been in past winters and i think it's because of this i swear i just think it's so good and then i also have these super cute bins from Target's dollar spot. I'm a sucker for like little bins like this. I just think they're so cute and I like always need ways to organize things. So this one I slide underneath of my coffee table. Um, this was only $5 and then these were five for the two of them. Um, so the smaller size, I have one by my bedside. I have one in our bathroom to hold all of like my hair, like my claw clips and my scrunchies and stuff like that. And then I've also been using from Target's dollar spot these tech wipes. These are really good for your phone to disinfect your phone. I also wipe down like my computer screen and my iPad and keyboard and everything with these. They were only a dollar for this pack of 20. Go get these. They still have them. I've seen them there multiple times, like within the past few months. I'm sure they still have them there. All right, my last little section is going to be clothing. So I went and got these tank tops from Target. They're like the high neck ribbed. I'm not a big fan of ribbed items, but these were really cute for like around the house and to work out and, and stuff. So I love them. They are like longer, so you can crop them if you want, but I really didn't want to. Um, and I wear them just like tucked into like my sweatpants and like joggers and stuff like that. They're really cute. I did get a size small. I also have it in this like beige tie dye. They had a lot of colors, but I wanted more neutrals. So I got these two and also a black one. I think it's in the wash right now, but I did get a small. It fits me well. I feel like these were just a really good basic to have for layering or for working out and just hanging around the house. Next item I got for Christmas last year, but they're still really popular and I still love them just as much. They are my short Ugg boots. To wear these around the house, as you can see, I try to keep the soles really clean. Um, so I wear them around the house, like to cook, whatever kind of is slippers when I want to. I also wear these like on short trips, like getting the mail, taking out the trash, different things like that. I did get a seven. I'm normally like a 6.5 or a six in shoes, but I wanted them to be bigger so I could wear like thicker socks if it's really cold out. My last clothing piece is my absolute favorite. I've been wearing it so much. It is my Zara jacket. I got it in a small. If I could go back in time and rebuy it, I would get it in an extra small just because it fits more like boyfriend style. It's a little loose, um, but still cute. I don't care. I love it. Love the color so much. It matches literally everything. It looks so good with jeans and my Ugg boots are so cute with it. I love it so much. It is so warm. I love it over sweaters and like honestly I've worn this over a t-shirt and it has kept me just as warm. Here in Ohio we get kind of like bitter winters. The next item I need to bring you guys in here for because it is this giant mirror from Ikea. We got this a while back. I made a vlog about it. I love it just like for putting on outfit of the days and I just think it's like it makes our bedroom, our bedroom's already pretty big but it makes it look so much bigger and i just think it's so cute to take pictures in and all that stuff so that is where i'm going to end this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please let me know so that i know to make more like this and i hope that you got some inspiration for new products or anything to buy let me know if you did if you plan on buying something down below in the comments and like this video if you did please also subscribe if you want to support me see you guys in the next video and i hope that you have a great rest of your day Thank you.